Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and this is going to be my reaction to uh, My Hero Academia Season 7 Episode 15. You know, the one that you guys all watched a few days ago. You know, because I'm caught up now. <laughs> So yeah, um, last we le left off, Spinner made it into the hospital. Either this is going to go the way that everybody is expecting it to, that Kurogiri is going to get unleashed on the playing field, which would be a horrible, horrible, horrible thing for the heroes. Something's going to happen with Kurogiri and Spinner. He's not going to recognize him. Something's going to go wrong, which is what I hope happens, because I am not, I'm holding out hope that Shirokumo's still in there. So let's, let's see, shall we? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Just like that, whatever Shoji and Koda said, not gonna work. Yeah. I didn't hear the gunshots the last time. Oh my gosh, they actually fired. Oh, okay. Maybe they will have some effect after all. They saw music. Yeah, head over more of sand and humans. Shoot! That was wow. Okay, that that hit me. What I was going to say is that Spinner did not need that big quirk or that scale mail quirk to do what he did just there. He said what he needed to, he got above everybody using the quirk he was born with, said what he needed to say, started a riot, got past everyone, shots were fired, unfortunately. As horrible as what Spinner is doing right now, he could have done it without All For One's help. That is what that proved. He could have just climbed up on the wall, raised his voice a little. The music when those hospital people were there? I need to shoot. I need to make a note of that. Oh, Spinner hasn't stopped. Okay. Stain. Stain. Yeah, that's why I was red. They've left, buddy. There's no one with you. He won't activate. Yeah. Here we go. Of course Mike would protect his friend. Of course, that's why he's there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, shut up. I don't think so. Yeah. That's a good point! Are they everyone? Are they at fault? Who got shot? Well, that's good. Okay. Shirakumo. This is the deciding moment. That would have come back, I think. It's the same thing. Did he keep that hand with him? Oh my gosh. Wait, is he gonna try to wake him up? Mike, Mike, wait, 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 wait. Oh no! Krogiri? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what happens here? He's up. What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I thought, I thought there could be a moment. Oh no. Oh no. You're coming back! Wait, Shirakumo's quirk was the ability to create clouds that he could use to transport and to... Oh, Dobby. It's because of Dobby. Wow. Heroes out here changing the weather. Maybe. 
Yes. <sighs> One brave girl. Oh my gosh. He's moving because he died a long time ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It wasn't. Oh no. Oh no. Crap. Kurogiri could go in there. <laughs> Who's dying? Is Monoma about to die? Crap. Oh no. Oh no. This is like, this is all for one's theme, but like, more worse. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Toga? But for how long? <sighs> what is happening? I mean, obviously that's Toga, but like... But, okay, how can Toga do this? Oh, nice! Okay. She looks- okay, th those are focused eyes. Okay, okay. Yes, she's kind of wild and impulsive. Okay. Kurogiri's alive. Oh shoot! Oh my gosh, would she make it in? Oh shoot. <sighs> Of course, Dobby knows things. Okay, 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 okay. What? 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 Oh my gosh. How? Okay, 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 okay. Let's start from the beginning. The hospital people. Just them holding hands, specifically like the heteromorph and killer people just standing together, united with a common goal of protecting the patients. Some of the patients, by the way, were heteromorphs too. Like, I, I love that, that they come in and they see these people and they're like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? You make it in. You go and you're gonna, you're gonna release Kurogiri. You're gonna, you're gonna do all of these wonderful things. And then you see people there blocking your way, unarmed. They would not, there would not be any trouble shooting them down. But the way they were looking at them, everybody knows that these are doctors. These are people whose job it is to save people. They are the regular working class heroes. To see them so opposed like that, of course that's gonna strike a chord with anyone. And I'm so glad that it struck a chord with the mob, or at least with the people who made it inside. I loved the music too. I have only ever heard vocal chords for All For One's theme. That's the one time and it's this weird minor key opera singer who like has my respect, whoever it is, because it's terrifying. But here, I mean, honestly, hospital people, doctors, nurses, all of them, they're the real heroes. They have been heroes since before hero society, at least in MHA. So to hear a chorus of voices usually indicates something angelic or something uh, um, ethereal. I mean, when used in a major key, that is, which those voices were. Honestly, I feel like Horikoshi and the people behind MHA use qu choirs to strike a chord with people. I mean, no pun intended, but that's basically what it is. It really causes you to stop and think. It's like, yeah, look at the gravity of this situation. It's like you suddenly get the feeling that you're being watched by a higher power. 
and those people felt it and they walked back out. Now that the amazing choir is out of the way, let's talk about Spinner and Kurogiri. The thing is, and I said it before, Spinner did not need the scale male quirk or the strength quirk because honestly, both of those things sh served as detrimental to him. He got up using his, his Spider-Man climb quirk, got up on a high place, raised his voice a little, and unfortunately, I mean, that was all that was needed to rally the mob again. And he made it into the hospital. He's narrow, single-minded, focused on Kurogiri. Spinner is doing something very unhealthy here. He's basing his entire existence on one group, one person. He's the perfect follower because he found someone who gave him a purpose. And he has nothing else, so he clings to it with everything he has. Honestly, if you guys remember back in season four, the She Has Saikai arc, there was a guy who followed Overhaul with a similar obsession. I feel needed. This man who's amazing and powerful and, and has plans much loftier than my own ambitions needs me to carry out those plans. So I'm, of course, I'm going to follow him blindly. What was his name? Nimoto? The, the one who could, like, when he asks you a question, the, the person answering can't help but be honest. That guy. But I see it in Spinner. I do. The, the man put his body on the line to, to get to Kurogiri. And then let's talk about Kurogiri. Kurogiri is a Nomu. From what we've seen of Nomu, it's that they do whatever they are ordered to do. They're essentially these big zombies that can think and like parts of their old personalities kind of come seeping through. But the thing about Kurogiri is that he's not just Shirakumo. Shirakumo was used as the base. Something else or some other people were added in order to create this warp gate quirk, which the only similarity that it has to Shirakumo's original loud cloud quirk is that the clouds that Shirakumo could generate were foggy and the black fog that Kurogiri produces is fog. Like that's it. That's all. <laughs> what I was expecting to happen was for Shirakumo to once again resurface and somehow use the what remained of him to try and help present Mike. It would have been way too much of a stretch to assume that Shirakumo was just gonna assume control and this was gonna be his life now. Let's even think of it this way. Kurogiri's insane loyalty towards Shigaraki comes from Shirakumo's loyalty to his friends. Technically, Shirakumo did resurface. It's just that his loyalties had changed. With Spinner and with Kurogiri, there's just this matter of loyalty and lo loyalty to one's friends. It's just with Kurogiri and with Spinner, it's in a very twisted sort of way. And I really like that. I really like that it was put on display. The title of this episode is called Butterfly Effect. Um, and that news anchor put it beautifully. If a butterfly flaps its wings in Brazil, does it cause a hurricane in Texas? With Shirakumo and with Spinner, these people who were seemingly like, like, not meaningless. I don't want to call them meaningless because every person has a place in this story. But like, these, these tertiary characters that like, nobody really thinks about them much. Unless, unless you're one of those people who likes to reminisce about the times when Midnight and Aizawa and Mike and Chirakuma were classmates. They don't really mean much to the main story, is, is, is what I'm saying. The fact that these guys were affected on such a level, Chirakuma by his loyalties and Spinner by Shigaraki, to suddenly change the battle to decide to, to decide the victory. Like honestly, if Kurogiri pulls Monoma into his warp gate, it's over. I hope that like Shigaraki has been knocked out enough that the physical battle is over and the mental battle is beginning. Meaning that if Kurogiri knocks out Monoma, Shigaraki won't do anything. <laughs> because if his decay is activated while he's aware of his surroundings, we're in big trouble. Everybody dies. <laughs> What's next? I mean, I would like to put a little like, thank you to that news anchor out there for like, yes. Thank you, this one brave person in America who speaks out about what's obviously right. Thank you, mysterious random news anchor, you're amazing. I think that's the theme of this whole episode is tertiary characters are suddenly doing so much for the plot of the story. Speaking of another tertiary character, I don't, actually, you know what? At this point, maybe he's becoming more of just more of a side character and not a tertiary character. Dobby. <laughs> How is he still up? Like, at this point, I'm like, dude, you're getting annoying. You are falling apart. You know your body won't last. What are you doing, man? Why are you doing this? I I've never even heard of hatred that, that deep. Name another fictional character, I'll wait, that is doing what Dobby is doing. I have to admire your level of dedication for ending endeavor. Dude, you're dying while living. Like, you're- 
you're, I, mm, I can't even say. Toga, of course she had that. That was hinted at way back at the beginning, but I thought that that tiny amount of blood would only last her like five minutes. Turns out she's got 30 or 40. So now I understand the gravity of the situation. The death parade is real. And I love the idea that like Toga, even within the League of Villains, the reason why she came in during the stain craze is because, not because she believed in Stain's ideology, it's because Stain's quirk had something to do with blood. And so did hers! That's all it was. Toga kind of acted indiscriminately. She, she acted according to her own desire. Sure, she followed Shigaraki because Shigaraki accepted her more than the rest of the world did. Garaki or All for One provided them with money to be able to fight the Metal Liberation Army. Toga blew all of hers on a coat. She bought a coat, like one of those luxury ones. She's kind of just done what she wants. She, she wants to live in a world that accepts her and she wants to do things in that world. So she's just sort of doing whatever. She basically, she goes to the two people that she, that she loves and cares about. Ochaka and Enizuku and both of them turn her down and she's like there is not hope for me to be accepted in this world so I am going to well and fully just just destroy everything but I mean the, the thing that took her down that path to begin with was twice his death Toga being 17 years old and twice being in his 30s I don't think that Toga loved twice the way she loved Deku they had a connection and they were they were paired up for almost all of the villain outings except for the summer camp one where twice was was paired up with Doc. I mean, even in the Shiha Saikai arc, when Twice's mask got ripped, Toga knew exactly what to do and she comforted him and it was really sweet. And I mean, the the thank you for saving me, friend, when, when, when Twice actually did die, he fell apart in her arms, which was the saddest thing in the world to me. I can feel heat behind my eyes just thinking about it. That affected Toga on a pretty deep level. Up until that point, she was whimsical and carefree. And then suddenly she realized that liking somebody, like genuinely liking somebody, with with Toga's twisted sense of romance, there's something that comes with it that's like not normal. Like people don't love people that way. I feel like Twice was the first time Toga actually experienced like genuine, like like normal, normal love for somebody. And it it was it didn't even have to be like like romantic love. I, I I'm pr I'm pretty sure she regarded Jean as a as a family member, as a brother even, or as like a really, really good friend. That was like the beginning of her path towards like gen like like she's chaotic neutral. She's starting to become chaotic evil because of Twice's death. Now she has essentially the chance to bring Twice back through her own quirk. She gets to do what she does best, become people she loves. Hawks is gonna have a PTSD episode. <laughs> She's gonna grab Hawks by his jacket and just, it's its not gonna be good. I mean, since Hawks and Endeavor are at the same place, Dobby is there, Twice is there, Hawks is not going to have a fun time. <laughs> All we gotta do is wait for the next episode, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, ding the bell for notifications, you don't have to, but it would be super, super cool if you did comment below, tell me your theories, tell me your analyses, tell me your thoughts, tell me what you think is gonna happen next. Sorry that this episode got out so late, it was because of Labor Day and my family was vacationing. So obviously there was a lot going on. Anyway, I couldn't get time to edit or film. So uh, next episode should be, should be released either Sunday night or Monday. So thank you so much for staying and have a nice day.